What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another one of Lucky Strike Living. My name is Captain Gordy. That is my first mate, Griff, and I am a third generation captain here in Naples, Florida. Today, I hope you can hear me because it is blowing a little bit, that uh, we have a father and son duo, and their target is cobia. So, cobia are structure oriented fish, so we're going to hit as many wrecks as possible and we're going to speed fish. So this first spot we came to is a real small wreck, not too far offshore, and it is covered up in amberjacks. And they are already complaining because they've caught too many. So, <laughs> well, there's and blue runners. And blue runners too. Hey, I should get out that big mangrove that you I helped me get. Yeah. This is not an amberjack. That's a yellowtail, nice. All right. You can throw him in the box. Rip. Here. But Dad, now you don't have to complain anymore. That's right. <laughs> so we've been here probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and we've probably caught 20 amberjacks, something yeah, yeah, like that. Been here 20 minutes. Yes. We've been here about 20 minutes. Wow. And the captain, yours truly, made a huge mistake and caught a monster mangrove. So that means we have to stay at least another 20 minutes and try and, and catch some more. But I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you would, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to bring you guys along and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find at least one cobia. That would be nice, but we're definitely going to hit some snapper spots too. And this is the Gulf of Mexico. You never know what you could catch. You could even catch a grunt. <laughs> grits and grunts, baby. Grits, grits and grunts. grunts. They probably have giant grunts over here. We do. Don't bet your last dollar on it. Look at you. Oh, hi, Yellow Tail. I called it. <laughs> nice, Yellow That's a nice one, too. Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I know. Ripster, are you helping him? Uh oh, Goliath. Goliath ate it. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Man in the gray suit said thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got shark? Goliath. Oh, Goliath? Yeah. Man, you're making me sweat. This fish is like, what is that mosquito pulling on me? <laughs> you're making me sweat. <laughs> See you later, baby. Oh, he let it go. He did. He let it go. Oh. Still got your fish too. I do. That poor little amberjack. I sure did. A little pink marks. <laughs> that's a rainbow runner. That's not even yeah, an amberjack. I was say, that's not an amberjack. You want to catch your Goliath on a rope? <laughs> okay. Complaining about catching fish. <laughs> Golly Molly, I caught another one. How horrible. It is, you know. The captain tries to tell you to do one thing and you do the opposite. These things are everywhere. I don't think he's a keeper. Amberjack number 37. Yeah. I don't think he's a keeper. As they say in New York. You want, you want, you want this? He would love to. Yeah. That's good. I'll take him right here. Amberjack number too many. Yeah. See ya. Thank you. All right, we have to catch a snapper before the next amberjack, or we're leaving. Oh crap! That means it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> we're screwed, Rip. We're screwed. So in the winter time is when we get our amberjacks closer to shore, and sometimes they will completely overtake the spot. So if your objective, if your objective is not to catch amberjacks, sometimes you have to leave fish to go find fish. 
But uh, if we catch one, I told them we need to catch one yellowtail before we catch three amberjacks. And we're at two amberjacks right now. So the pressure is on. This has to be a snapper. I don't care the size. <laughs> picture yeah. yeah baby you want to bring the other one out and compare sizes oh, yeah. oh no that would be so embarrassing Come on. all right one more bait for everybody then we're out of here all right the professionals are back at it <laughs> rip you're back the power of editing <laughs> okay. Can I hook one of the fish we've already caught? Hundred <laughs> percent. We get a do over. Oh, there she be. So what are you going to do? I <laughs> I'm bringing a man whether you like it or not. Ten minute penalty. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Air fire. He's not coming off. Finally. Who's is bigger? <laughs> yeah, I think but, it's yours, Captain. Yeah, but mine's going in the box. Ha <laughs> ha. That was awesome, Brandon. There you go. Oh, it fits in his mouth. <laughs> you have your camera, Dad? Oh, he's I can send it to you. Yeah. No, I, uh, I, I don't. It's in the... Beautiful fish. Pretty. Beautiful. Like it. January 1st. I'm going to etch my name right here. There you go. <laughs> and I'll see him January 1st. I'll be back. All right, baby. It's been Arnold fun. Schwarzenegger. I'll be hey, back. hey, hey. Stop over. Yep. He did it, my own dad. He did, did it, it ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he caught a fish. I did it. It's a miracle. He did. I don't think so. I think no. it's the right one. It's not an amberjack. It's not an amberjack. That's a win in itself. <laughs> We're gonna compare now. There's gonna be video evidence. <laughs> oh, uh -oh, I saw. <laughs> that fish touched the floor. It did. I see it. it. I got another grouper. <laughs> it did. I'm out for ten minutes dead. You got a chance to catch up. <laughs> Too late. Cutie. So my number one pet peeve is when friends, customers, anybody just throws fish all over the deck of the boat. So when I have amazing customers who like a good laugh, I tell them, if a fish touches the floor in any way, shape or form, they're in a 10 minute timeout. Cause that means I got to clean up their mess. Bad customer, bad, <laughs> bad customer. <laughs> well, we are slowly picking away at them. Quite a few snapper, way too many amber jacks, but I think we found a spot where we can pick away at some snaps and then uh, see if we can put them on some reef donkeys. Maybe a cobia to finish. That's true. That's another one. What do you see out there? Oh, you see the bird. You see the bird, don't you? I got this down now. He's, he's officially got it. I got it down. 30 seconds later, we got another one. And it's the right species. 
No, I'm an equal opportunity fisherman. All fish are created equal, <laughs> except for catfish. Yes, oh, sir. Oh man, it's more for dinner. Yes, sir. Nice one too. We don't have to wrestle no more. No. Oh, nice, nice. Britt, would you like the rod? Yeah, Dad, would you like me to give you the rod? No, no I don't want your rod. You say your rod to your wife. <laughs> well, she wouldn't be happy with someone else's snapper on the end of this. <laughs> so true. True words. Well, I would say you've got it figured out, so I'm going to leave you to yourself. You let him swallow it. I did. Golly, I put, up. putting me to work. Oh. Guess what? He's gonna taste delicious though. You make a hell of a bird dog. I am a hell of a bird dog. I just don't get to go very often. No. <laughs> Dad keeps me on the stupid boat. So the technique we're using today is a light jig head and we're slowly letting it go to the bottom and these mangroves will start to come up in the chump slick and when there's you're catching fish it's creating a bunch of commotion down there and all these fish in this area will come and see what's going on but your jig is slowly going down with a nice shrimp or a pilcher and i think we're getting it, we're getting the feel of it pretty good it might be adding to the box fairly quickly rip's gonna keep staring at his bird Nice, nice. Show me another mangrove, I dare you. He feels, he feels a little better than the last one. And the other one was a keeper too. Oh, he broke off. Oh, come on. Rip. Come on. Rip, go bite him. He lost another one. Come on. He's like 10, 12 feet off and he breaks off. He might have got sharp. You know how well we know it too. Circulation. Oh, it was too soon. Oh, I'll let him run with mine and he's still gone. Yep. But there's all those lanes down there and these mangroves will sit above them. So there's 15 feet of those medium lanes. Really? And I, I always thought the bigger fish set uh, uh, Not snapper. Really? Snapper up higher. Yeah. 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 As long as there's no, you know, predators around and things like that. But if they're being normal, they'll be up top. Did uh, you see the news the other day where that gal in the Bahamas was vacationing and uh, from the U.S. and the sh shark jumped shark up got her out of board? Wasn't that awful? Yeah. Uh oh, 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 get him! Get him! Get him! There we go. Oh, don't pull off now this time. You talk to him. Don't pull off this he, time. He please. speaks perfect English, I promise. Please. I know. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a little better fish, too. He's better. Rip, get this fish on board. Rip, help him, Hurry dude. Hurry up, Rip. Grab him with your teeth. Do something. Come on, baby. That's yeah, good. I'll take, go. I'll take him right here. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Beauty. Oh, he's a nice one. Perfect size. I'll take him. The pliers got stuck. Rip, no, this is for me. It must have felt good for about five seconds. That clam, and they won't open their mouths again. So he had to go to the emergency room. Oh. Hey, Dad. I'm sorry. Oh, nice. Rip, that's hey, for us. That's for us. These are nice. Smile for the camera. Cheese. They're coming up. Now. Let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, we're getting close to done. Oh boy. I don't like the sound of close to done. Well, on our limit, we can catch and release. Yeah, so we still got coke. We got plenty of time. You're getting a bite. Yeah, I'm getting. So the limit of snapper is 10 per person, and it can be a combination of yellowtails, mangroves, 
vermilions, a whole bunch of snapper. But it, you can't have 10 of mangroves, 10 of yellowtail. You can have five and five, six and four, and you, you can do the rest of the map from there. But, uh, we, and captains are not allowed to keep any for themselves on charters. So we've got a few more to go. We'll stick it around, and then we're going to head to a wreck over here we call Jurassic Park. Came back. Oh, he came back! He came back! <laughs> he came back! Oh, you're so lucky, man. I was just leaving it this time. I wasn't bringing it up. I think that fish ate a bear hook. Little grouper is my guess. My guesstimation. You may be wrong. I actually know I ain't wrong. <laughs> You know, uh, don't... You know I ain't wrong. <laughs> I was just saying, the groupers don't battle. Oh, he just... Oh, look at that! A oh, crab or something? A hermit crab! Use it. I will. Let's get up a hermit crab. They're just nibbling on it. <laughs> they just won't eat it! What'd you say? So if I don't actually catch a fish this time around, I'm quitting. All right. All right. Let's see if he's telling the truth. I may have to let him swallow it. Let your dad catch him. Here's the bait. <laughs> this is the right species, good sir. And the right size, too. Yeah, he killed Hey, Rip! Help him, Rip! Help him! <laughs> Come on, baby! See if your son can help help you get him in the boat. I don't think so. And not drop him because it's a good one. Rip's helping. I know Rip will help. He is so good at this. You heard it? Oh, it's a wrong species. Wrong species. Oh, but he's a nice one. That's a good, well, that's a good one too. Yeah, well, at least get me, let me get a picture with him. Here. Here. Place. Place. At least I get a picture with it, right? For sure. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. Pretty fish. See you January. Oh, oh, look what he spit out. Oh, oh look what he spit out. Oh, no, he, he spit, spit up a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Don't touch that boat! I'm You're not touching, touching the, boat. the inside of the boat. I'm not dropping him. He said hey. the outside of the boat was okay. Outside's okay. Outside's okay. I didn't bring oh. it in. Oh gosh, there's so many rules. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> and I see the fish. Right species? The right species. Whoa, baby! And a big one too. I'm talking. <laughs> Give me some knuckles on that one, dude. <laughs> Great job, Bubba. There you go. Right, we gotta stay now. <laughs> nice. Sweet. He's a stud. He was a stud. I think that's the biggest one I've caught today so far. Thank you, Rip. Yeah, he's a big one. Rip, hey, Rip. No. That's a nice thing. That's a nice cooler. Yeah. Woo. That was a nice one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, hold up. Put your head up high. Put your head up high. Feel proud right yeah, now. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's the first yellowtail I've seen though. <laughs> nice yellowtail. Look, he's huge. <laughs> he's yeah. huge. Hold him right up to that camera. <laughs> Breakfast, Dad. Help him, Rip. If I gave him a rock, he would, he would do his best. Yeah. 
I think it's a grouper. Oh, it's a snapper. Is it? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. I have faith. It's a snapper. I have faith. What are you doing over there? Nothing. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go ahead and down. Uh oh. What? What are you doing over there? What am I doing? Uh oh. You know, I hate to say it, but I hate it when you're right. I know. It's almost like I know what I'm doing. Oh, no. You broke it. Oh, no. That was my fault. Put my hand on the top of the reel. Too much heat. Put too much tension on it. Amberjack Slayer. I'm gonna make you a shirt. I think it's a mangrove. I said Jake, get it back. Oh, spring. It's a rip, it's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. It's a fish. Rip, Amberjack it Slayer. Oh, it is an Amberjack. Oh, I thought God. it was. Oh, it is. I know how to catch him. I'll give you that. Rip. No. The professional. All right, y'all. So we're at probably our last spot. We're almost at our limit. And we came to this one spot to look for Cobia. That's what they want to do. But there are so many Amberjacks. So we don't know what this is. He's taking line again. This is something big. He's gonna turn. Will we catch it? Probably not, but it's gonna be fun to watch him struggle. No, no S words. There he goes again. So it could have been a snapper turn into an amberjack, turn into a shark. That's not a shark. It turns into a lot. He's jerking. That's not a shark. It's definitely not a shark. It's definitely a shark. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever makes him happy. Tease me. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Tease me. Oh, here they come. Under the anchor rope, were you good? I don't think so. Not yet. Yep, yeah, you're going under. There you go. Go under the anchor rope. Run him down, Hoopa! I'm getting yellow. I got you, we're good. He ain't gonna beat 600 horses, I promise. Come on! I'm gonna have to get out my phone and take pictures. All right, y'all, so we hooked up to a fish, no idea what it is, and we just about school got spooled, but that's the importance of having a buoy on the end of your anchor rope. You throw everything overboard and you can go chase it. Now you don't have to worry about your anchor, you can always go back and get it. Alright, I don't know if you heard it or not, but he told the truth. We can't film this whole thing, it'll be forever. <laughs> so we're gonna set it down, get in front of this fish, turn up the music, we're gonna enjoy, and he's gonna be miserable. See you in a little bit. Alright, first personnel change. <laughs> nope, just left, just left. Alright. 
Gotta chase them again. Yep. All right, update. It is 1.30, probably hooked them at 1.20. Honey, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry, I'm gonna need an ambulance. <laughs> Do I need to take over already? No. <laughs> you look really tired. You're doing good. I, I get to print bottom while you guys are fighting. 140. 20 minute update. We have traveled 0.43 miles so far. Brandon still has the rod. We still haven't seen it. We haven't gotten even close. We got at least another two hours to go. Check back in another at our 30 minute update. 30 minute, 30 minute update. They're getting ornery. <laughs> <laughs> They're starting to complain. That's right, we're complaining that the captain doesn't know how to tie hooks. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God he did this one right though. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how my hooks did. <laughs> let's just go right on back here. Oh my gosh, it's a cooler full of mangroves. So you, you got to tie the perfect knot so that if it's anything but a mangrove, it just comes off. Yeah. Amber jacks, there go, they go away. Blue well, you screwed up on this one. I tied it too good. Yeah. You guys are giving me crap about it, so I had to do it apparently the right way. So, 30 minute update, not even close. Hi, hi Rip. Rip's getting excited and anxious. He wants to see the fish, but uh, we're in the same position we were 20 minutes ago. Check back in with you later. 40 minute update. Just about. We're starting to put a little more heat on him. But we're in the same situation we were 30 minutes ago. I'm in the same position too. Yeah. I'm surprised this hook hasn't bent. I tie good knots. <laughs> How and does I, that have anything to do with a bent hook? And I have good hooks. <laughs> <laughs> they obviously weren't made in China. Yeah, whoever this hook manufacturer is, we need to get him as a sponsor. Alright, so we are. 43 minutes in and we have a deadline so the captain's gonna take over and he's he's either gonna break it off or a fish is coming to the boat yes so in other words he's gonna break them off yeah <laughs> but you never know that's right so let it be written so let it be done <laughs> yeah, you can put as much heat on it as you want now i'll do it and see what happens yeah, put some heat on it All right, never mind. Oh, big jellyfish. Wow. wow. Big old biggin. Oh my gosh, that looks like a box jelly. Oh, it's gonna break right there. there Thank goodness. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All right, guys, we have a long ways to go and a short time to get there. I gotta go, oh crap, I gotta go get my anchor. That's right. I gotta go get my anchor first. Okay, I'll be right back. My buoy. So that's a huge tip for anybody with a boat. Put a buoy on the end of your anchor rope so if you do happen to catch a big fish, you just throw everything overboard. You don't have to worry about anything and you can always come back to it. Alright y'all, like I said, we had to be at the dock at a certain time, so as soon as I pulled up the anchor, we were flying on our way home to meet that deadline. But overall, it was a great day of fishing. Those two probably caught uh, triple digit fish of all shapes and sizes. But if you ever want to book a trip with me, I will leave all my information in the link below and in the description. 
And if you would, like, share, and subscribe as always. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you.